this beautiful, uh, mild spring weather continues, but it's not spring without at least a chance of some storms in the forecast, and we will have that. Not today, though. It's clear out there. The radar is empty, and the high temperatures today, pretty similar to yesterday, perhaps a little bit warmer, 75, 76 degrees across the area. And then tonight, it's pretty similar to what we had last night, 51, 52 degrees. We're just inching up a little bit warmer, and we'll continue that trend over the next couple of days. But overnight, it will still be a little bit cool. A couple of things to talk about here. We're still kind of influenced by this low here. So you can see more of the dry air in the upper levels uh, has moved in, and that's mixed down. So we have drier air at the surface as well. But we will still see probably some clouds like we did yesterday, those fluffy clouds that kind of spot the sky. Could see some of those today, but not expecting too much to actually interrupt your uh, sunshine for the day. Now, here's the thing. You notice this is a low. It's in the water. It's just off the coast of Texas and Louisiana here. When you see a low in the water and it's kind of hanging out there and there's that circulation, you start thinking, hey, do we have something tropical going on here? There's some buzz that it's possible this thing could become a tropical system. Now, it, it, that, that is very unheard of. It's, it, well, it's not completely unheard of, but it's unlikely and not common to have a storm this early. I think it'd be the earliest storm we've had since 2017. And even at that point, I think it's a kind of a handful of those that we've seen. So it, it is possible, according to some, National Hurricane Center hasn't really said anything about this, at least not too much. But we will watch this just in case, hey, something turns out to happen. The most that I've seen from this is the GFS model actually making this our, more of a tropical system. But the thing to remember about the GFS model, if it were true, we'd have about 50 to 60 hurricanes a year. It, it, it likes to churn up these tropical systems all the time. So it, that's the thing with weather models, though. You kind of have to know the quirks. So we'll keep an eye on this. But it doesn't look very likely that it's actually going to become something, something tropical. Looks even less likely that it'll actually impact us. What will impact us is this next system that's going to be moving in. We'll have this cold front moving closer to our area. This dry line will deepen. The high pressure will move away, but we will have a cap. So we expect this system to arrive late Friday, early Saturday. So storms will be possible during that time. Here's the thing. The cap will be pretty hefty, so it looks like any storms that we do get will be low coverage, so it kind of depends on what the cap does. For the most part, though, it looks like we should have a strong enough cap to limit that development, and what we do could become severe over part of the area. We have a slight risk to our north. Now, I see that, you know, the Mansfield area is kind of just barely penciled in here, but I would say to our north, we're more in this marginal risk area, so... I don't really expect a whole lot for our area, uh, at least our four counties. Now, Dallas and Fort Worth North might be a little bit of a different story. We're still a few days away, though, so give this time to adjust and update, and I'll be bringing that, of course, to you over the next couple of days. But doesn't look like it's going to impact too terribly much. doesn't look like it's going to impact cops and kids at Gessinator Park in Waxahachie on Saturday morning. Looking forward to seeing you there for that as well. I'll have more updates on that on the page. So here's the forecast today, 75, mostly sunny here. A few of those clouds today, like we had yesterday. Overnight, it's chilly. Tomorrow, we're warming up. Thursday and Friday, both getting close to 80 degrees. Friday night, that cold front comes in. Friday night, Saturday morning, storms possible. Again, possible to see a few strong, severe storms. Friday looks gusty, breezy on Saturday. So we flip those winds from the south to the north. And then we get to Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Sunday, a little bit cooler, a little bit more like today, 74, 75 degrees. Monday, we shoot up to 80. Tuesday, 79, with a chance of rain later in the day. So we are warming up. We're getting that trend going. As we get closer to May, we will be bringing those warmer temperatures in. It's nice this week, and stay tuned for more information about the possibility of storms that could, be some, could become strong to severe going into late Friday and early Saturday.